I was at a coffee shop this morning and there were these really awesome two young employees there. And um, I noticed something, and I don't mean this with any judgment, it was just something I noticed. From when I went in, they were on their phone. Then I ordered a drink. They made it. While one was making it, the other one was on her phone. Then she walked over and rang me up. While she rang me up, the coffee maker went on hers. Then the one that rang me up went back, looked through her phone. <laughs> and they were all I, all, all I saw was this motion. And um, I say that without any judgment. There's no um, way that's better that they should be. But I did see something. I did actually have a glimpse of something that inspired this video. And I pictured that what if your higher self, your fearless creative being, your innovative being, um, you could see standing right there. And that it always, always, always wants to co-create with you. And it always wants to help you impact the world. It wants to help you be better for yourself. It wants to help you move beyond your fear. It wants to help you get out of anxieties and addictions and things like that by connecting to this thing. And if you could see the universe or God or your intuition or your higher self or whatever you want to call it as a physical being standing there waiting to co-create with you, and it's just always ready to go. It's always ready to, to tell you the next step. It's always ready to give you answers. It's always ready to help you feel connected. But you can't see that it's there. And you're just sitting here like this. And picture that the universe is just like a guy or a, a woman just standing there going, all right, whenever you're ready. And just, and by the way, this, this being is the most patient thing in the world because you could go 30 years of just flipping through and watching stuff you don't care about and hanging out with people that don't align with you and just picture this being right over you like whenever you're ready and then 30 40 years go by and you're just finally stressed out of your mind and then you close your eyes and you fall into yourself and you feel your body and you feel your heart and then that being's like okay so we can co-create and then you just co-create with it there's no guilt they don't go you know i don't know where you've been for 40 years i've been here right here for you you just finally say okay i'm ready and then it goes all right listen to this and then it goes you know you start listening to silence for a couple hours and it gives you insights and ideas and it goes get offline or get whatever get to you know this area or donate this or co-create with me or write the book or whatever and you're just totally able to do that but it was interesting because this creative being has been accessing me a little bit more and more and more and so I'm seeing it as always available because I'm sitting here walking around town in silence, feeling insights and ideas and next steps and what I want to do with my business and my voice and the next book I want to write and all these things. And when I saw those employees, when, and they might have been on the phone creating something, I don't know, but if they were doing what most of us do, which is just scrolling aimlessly through nothing, then I just pictured the universe as a, a person next to him whenever you're ready and they're just on for hours and it's just like <laughs> they're just still doing it all right and then finally they fall apart all right okay so let's do it you know and then let's play it's amazing it's always here and our only problem is we're not receptive to it it's always here for all of us ready to help us with next steps help us answer our problems help us answer our conflicts help us create we just have to stop distracting ourselves from it and the second you finally go okay i'm gonna go away for a while i'm gonna meditate whatever you just invited it in <laughs>